Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Marta here and I'm delighted I can welcome you in another Christmas inspiration episode. Uh, many of you have been asking me for some personal -aid gift ideas, yet many of you wanted a Christmas ornaments decorations. Why don't we just make two in one? A beautiful Christmas ornament with a photograph inside. It could be a gift, it could be just as decoration for our home, uh, but I think a personal touch definitely makes a difference always. Now I have, as you can see, three different types of bubbles. I have the roundy one, I also have the star and I also have the heart. Uh, those two are designed for uh, this type of project. They are much flatter. I would say they're not for professional uh, people uh, as in crafters uh, because it's so much easy to do things with it. You just take out the cardboard, you go around it and you just cut it and job done and awesome. You wouldn't fill much here. Uh, I may do that, I may use that idea later on but I was thinking why don't we just make our life a little bit more difficult and use the just ordinary bubble and add some sparkles, add some glitter and maybe make a little shaker. So I'll invite you to join me for today's session where I will try to make something pretty, a beautiful uh, gift. Um, I think I'm gonna give this to Emily. I'm recording where she's in school so I'm delighted she won't see that and I'm gonna hide it. So this is what she will receive with Hannah, two of them. It's gonna be for them both. So join me and yes, let's start. Let's do some beautiful ornament. So where do we begin? We have to uh, draw our photograph and now I can see that my photograph is not that perfect size, the bubble is big but I, I could go for a smaller bubble but I really 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 want to ha have a smaller, a uh, bigger bubble so I can have more embellishments, more just more exciting things happening in there. That's why I decided for it. Um, so hopefully, hopefully I'm, I'm able to, to cover this up, uh, so I'm going to cut that now. One thing I haven't used, I didn't use the, uh, the paper, the photocolor paper, because I just don't have it. And I, do you know what, I wanted to record this uh, and I just, I just, I just said, it's okay, that's fine, let's just not stress over it, not proper paper, hopefully this will do. So I'm cutting that, but I know that it is a little bit too big uh, for the inside because it's the outside shape. So we're gonna have to make it size it a little small to fit it. But I just want to cut it first this size and see how much too big it is. Or maybe I'm mistaken and it's actually work. It will work. So you know, before I make any um, new measurements and before I change anything, I just cut this around first and. Mm, um, put it in and see where we are. Awful scissors. Where are my good scissors? Okay, so here we go. Let's see if I'm able to fit this anyhow. Uh, yeah, my bubble is kind of broken. That's okay. You know, we fixed that. We fixed that all. Now, let's see if I can fit that. No, not really. I think it's slightly too big, so I'm gonna just I'm gonna just go around with my pencil, I think, like this, like a little bit around, just to just to make a little now we will add some embellishments and things around it so you won't see even if it's a not perfect cut, so don't stress over that. But I'm just gonna do a little line so I'll know where I am instead of going into circles and make it smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller you know that kind of way so let me do that now okay so that's the leftover and let's see if I can fit that now properly yeah it works actually perfectly so voila now so we have this cut so this can wait for uh, for its turn Time to think about the back of the bubble. So when we have this, there is white in there. Not so nice, isn't it? So either we put another photograph and have two two sides, which is awesome, and feel free to do that. But I think I'm I'm gonna just go and stick with some kind of glitter in there and just go for um, just a different type of background. I'm thinking um, maybe I'll just use some uh, glitter and acrylic paints, maybe. Okay, so I have this uh, soft gel medium 
that would be perfect I think to glue down all of the glitter and I'm gonna just go around with my glue you can use if you have Mod Podge feel free to use that if you have um, any other type of glue that is kind of runny school glue, glue should work as well so have a try so I'm just adding I think I, I, add, I added a little too much nearly because I don't think we need that much that many that much glue okay so time to kind of sprinkle it let's see and I thought to just go for this dusty glitter which is super pretty and super nice oh. there we go you see so we're gonna have this lovely um, glittery ornament on the back of our bubble I also do think that I could add uh, maybe a bit of thicker glue, a uh, thicker um, shiny sparkly things. Let let mix those together maybe. If they will glue down, they should. Oh, there we go. That looks very nice. Mhm. Mm I have some stars as well. I'm not sure if those will glue. But let's see. And then I'm gonna add some glitter. So before this <laughs> before this all will cover up with glitter. <laughs> and the back of my bubble is ready. I have to say that I shouldn't be maybe touching there afterwards with my brush because it's kind of uneven in places, but you know what? I really don't mind imperfections are fine as well. Don't get discouraged because of imperfections. Now, time to somehow add the back of our the back of our um, photograph I was thinking to add either hot glue or gel medium yet again mm, I think I could I could maybe stick with both that's the idea so let's start adding and I will add the gel medium here on the edges so when I lay down my bubble it will um, kind of grab this gel medium I hope and basically stick to it that's the that's my hope anyway maybe this gel medium is a little bit too uh, too watery or maybe I grabbed from the packaging because the packaging is always a little bit thicker now I will maybe add also a little bit of hot glue just to see if I can help it with it now this thing I could maybe play with hot glue now so this could be kind of oh, hot glue has no glue <laughs> I have to say that those kind of preci precision things uh, projects they're not for everyone you know you really have to love in the the, you need to take time, I think, uh, and love in the, the finished uh, piece afterwards and just enjoy the process because it's all very time consuming. Anyway, let's see if I can quickly add some hot glue in like two or three places only. So this will instantly, am I off camera? I think I am. So this will instantly hold it, but now my glue is out, so I don't know why it's out let's see it again no it's out maybe because of gel medium no that shouldn't matter anyway you want this to hold better the one that is broken I'll fix that again okay that should be fine I don't know why it didn't but it's okay now I may need the tweezers Mm -hmm. Those are my two girls, as you can imagine. That's easy to guess, I, I guess. So I'm lying this very gently. There we go. And I'm hoping that this will kind of stay in place, more or less. Oops, sorry, I'm off camera again. Now. It's not that even-ish, so I'm gonna, oh, there we go, pull over on one side. 
maybe the dry glue helped because it didn't sink too much <laughs> so you know now if some edge is gonna be kind of oh like here I can feel the glue the hot glue if some edge is not um, perfect we're gonna put things around it I'm thinking of some chipboard maybe so I like that okay now let me clean that we need to wait for this to dry obviously a little bit and I was thinking to add some chipboards let's see if I can do that now oh, there we go uh -huh. and let's see oh there we go that will be so pretty I think isn't it I think so okay so now either white or silver why don't I just do silver so why don't I just paint this with some gel medium actually <laughs> gel medium again this one is from little birdie soft gel medium and it's perfect works beautifully um, okay <gasps> did I just do that I didn't even see what I did that's okay that's okay okay let's let me fix that oh Marta 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 oh dear 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 <laughs> As you can see, it's very soft gel medium. Accident happens. <laughs> oh my, my. That's okay. Look, I love when things spill. It's just, it just makes my life so much more difficult and it's, you know, extra work and, you know, just enjoy the moment. <laughs> okay, time to paint that. <laughs> so I'm gonna just go over my chipboard with. Uh, some gel medium and then I'm gonna nicely sprinkle everything with glitter and maybe some snow as well something white or maybe I draw because I have those extra little things like 3d snow things I am you know I'm, I'm I don't know I'm gonna try and see if I can use them to anything if they will be nice so firstly let's just color that gorgeous frame chip body frame and let's sprinkle that with some glitter okay maybe I could just move that no Marta no point of moving that leave it go back with the color with the sprinkle okay and I have this thing here oh. here I don't know if this will stick to anything it's like a leftover jar with things you know we'll see if this will stick mm -hmm. now I think I added way too much glitter way too much hot glue eh, way too much gel medium sorry where is my head today? Where is my head today? Oh no! Marta, Marta, Marta. We need to somehow lift this. Okay, nearly there. Nearly there. I forgot that gel medium is drying so quickly. Okay, so we have it. Oh, look at that. Super pretty okay this will be gorgeous we need this to dry first which I'm not a messy type of a crafter so for me it's a little bit difficult to kind of accept this you know that we have this mess around going on and stuff so it's pretty tough on me I have to say you know I'm just gonna br use my brush tiny bit of gel medium from what's around me and I'm just gonna adhere more of this dust and glitter and those shiny things because I love them and I just wish for more let me just get some gel medium there maybe so it wouldn't be glittery glittery I think it looks very pretty okay and it's kind of st sticking out which is nice mm, I think what's beautiful in those uh, are you sharp you are 
I, I think what's beautiful about those first trials projects, things that we didn't plan before, is that you know we can really create something exceptionally beautiful uh, by accident and I think that's what happens now <laughs> sometimes I just do it faster before I ever think that's what my husband says to me like Marta sometimes just think before you do or say that's just how I am you know so um, like this looks beautiful because of things kind of standing out let me just show you a bit better look at that beauty isn't it so even though I couldn't pull it from the piece of paper and I think it, I just kind of went crazy with it, it looks really beautiful, so, isn't it? <laughs> and this leftover goes back. Whatever stays on that piece of paper, <laughs> it stays there. But I'm sure we managed to, uh, to get some... Uh, it's, I'm glad that all the glitters and elements, they're coming in loads always. <laughs> So I'm collecting some leftovers in a jar so I can use it for next project. And while my wreath is uh, nicely drying, I have this kind of like a snow looking paste. It's, it is actually for like Viva Decor, it's for making snowflakes I guess. Uh, but I'm thinking to get rid of those, uh, those things here. So what I will just do is I'm going to just add some touches of that uh, and I maybe add some snow and I have this uh, kind of I don't know silverish bubbles things and I have this leftover jar from Emily <laughs> because we are sharing studio now and we are sharing everything including supplies so when she finished her project recently she put things in there as well I don't know if this will actually um, let me grab some kind of spatula. I'm just thinking if this will... Oh no, that's with some yellow stuff. No, I don't want yellow in this case. So I'm going to grab the snow only. I have this snow here. I wonder if this will hold and if this will look nice. Oh yes, look, okay, I can do more around it there. You could probably use anything else, not only snow. I'm gonna go around it guys, you know. You could go probably and just use anything you have, not only uh, like what, oh, you can't see, sorry. Let me sharpen that. <coughs> So I'm just going around with my paste. One thing I notice is that my photo is kind of sinking in one place here. But I hope this will only be a little bit and won't sink fully like. Okay, so now I'm going to play with the snow and add some snow around. Oh, that will be so gorgeous, I think. So let's see if I have some snow here. Mm -hmm. How can I? So hopefully some parts will will stick to that. It they do. They do. They stick to that. So there we go. That is so gorgeous. So I think, isn't it? Oh, I love that. Okay, I really love that. Now I'm thinking if this will match to that, if it's not too much now. <laughs> but Christmas is all about... Now, those are sticking out a bit too much, I think. And I won't be able to close my bubble. So I need to get rid of those few on the outside. But they stuck so well that they don't want to go away now. Come on, just, just you. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Oh... I like that so much. What do you think? What do you think guys? I wonder. Okay, I totally love this now. I do think that I need to get rid of that one thing here. Okay, it's a little bit too far. Okay, now I just wonder if we can still 
Oh no. What if I'll change, swap this, the like here? <clears throat> oh, maybe like that. Oh, I like that more, I think. Isn't it? Oh, it's so gorgeous. I love my girls. As you can imagine, we all love our kiddos, don't we? Oh, okay. I think this is totally perfect, except one of that. And now I'm gonna somehow try to attach that with my hot glue. I have to be fast. Okay. I'm afraid nearly that I'm gonna ruin that, but hopefully not. Okay, let's see. Oh, I love that. Super. Oh my girls. <laughs> okay, gorgeous. Mm, I tell you a little secret. Lucas uh, saw this and he said, you have to do one more and we, we ship it quickly to grandparents. So we may do that actually. Uh, it is really beautiful. We're not even finished. <laughs> but it is special uh, because it's personal touch and it's not only the picture. It's something else, something else. So let's finish that off. I'm gonna close this down and I think on the side I'm gonna use Emily's idea for her bubble that she did which is super cute isn't it you can check her channel for her videos Emily's small world it's her YouTube channel so go and check her out and leave her some love she loves that obviously we all do <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna attach something on the side but maybe instead of ribbon like Emily did not uh, lace uh, as Emily did maybe I'll just use this kind of string it's old I have it for like 20 million years so time to use that okay let's try to close this now um, we may be in some kind of trouble to shake the bubble too much you know oh yes done oh, I love that that is gorgeous perfect now I don't want to shake this too much um, so before I'll do that let me just because I think to use this lovely thing okay and somehow Glue this down. So let's see if I can oh, glue this down. Mm -hmm. Take the excess if you feel it's too much. I could do it on the back, isn't it? <laughs> That's okay. I think I'm going to put something on top of there anyway. So this joining thing, we can nicely cover this now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Not only it will look nicer, but if there are some imperfections, it will basically help out to cover that. Good to me. I like that. I have to say very much. I have been thinking to do this uh, bubble with photo for so long. This uh, this season, I mean. And I was just... Uh, I knew that it's so much to think about. So troublesome project. But you know what? It's actually not. If you think it's a troublesome project... Uh, no, it's not. Oh, this is kind of dirty. That's okay. I may go around that like this. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, I'm gonna go around like this and there. Uh huh. Something. 
something like that maybe even shorten this mm -hmm. I love that now it would be nice to add something there mm, I have those gorgeous f flowers from Anna Bushinka um, a friend of mine who did those gorgeous flowers I bought those flowers from her because uh, as I told you I'm such a <laughs> lazy person sometimes too oh I think this will be just so nice <laughs> I'm just so lazy and I have no time to make gorgeous flowers like that uh, plus I don't make them that pretty that I didn't mind to actually uh, buy it off of a friend uh-huh now isn't it that just gorgeous? I mean, I love that. Little bit more glue there. Mhm. Mm oh, same for this side, I think. Beautiful. Uh huh. And maybe one going here. Or the smaller. <laughs> no. Mm, I just added the string, and I really think that the third uh, Christmas flower could be. That's exactly what we are missing here. So that will cover up nicely the whole composition here and I also will yes get uh, glue down yet again a bit closer the other flower I think mm -hmm. there we go like that so the top part is nicely covered I hope you can see that well so three flowers now and and we don't have to see the the knot of the string and Lastly, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> I lost my voice. I have this kind of silverish something, so I thought to somehow maybe add it in the in the in the middle in the in the mint in between <laughs> or something. I lost my voice. No way. I think yeah, I could do that before I added flowers, but I didn't, which is okay. I can still work around something, I guess. Let's see if I can just create like a little something in the middle, I hope. Maybe a little loop. <laughs> that is a little bit crazy. Uh, that's so small I can't go it through. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's do it again. Let's do that again. I did a new one. It's like, um, you can't see. It's like, I don't know, let's, like kind of this. Like I do for my card making with the dad string. So I'm just having this. And then I'm gonna half it again. It's still running away. I'm gonna add some gl glue there. Oh, my Hannah is wake up, woke up. Okay, and then somewhere there. See? Something like that. You can't see. So. Mm hmm. Oh, and I'm thinking to even cut some. I hope you can see that. So it's like a little grey <laughs> silver hair. Okay, we can do exactly the same thing on the back. Okay, let's go here. A trim trim, <laughs> like a hairdresser. And voila! Oh, that's even nicer, a little bit longer, and this is shorter, and voila! And we have it, personalized bubble, a Christmas ornament for yourself, 
for your loved ones. Uh, I think such a lovely, beautiful idea for a gift, uh, but also for yourself, just a gift for yourself. Why don't you gift something special this year uh, to yourself? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it, enjoyed it. This is the back actually, looking not too bad, isn't it? I hope you liked it, enjoyed it, and I really hope you will uh, let me know what you think and you will uh, share this video with your friends. That means the world to me. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Happy crafting. Love you loads. But I have to go. Bye bye. Actually, let me just show you kind of better, uh, you know, how it looks. Because I think I didn't do the best job in showing you how it looks. So that's what we have. I don't want to shake it, as I said, too much. Because I don't want the snow go to... Uh, to fall off or something so that's how it looks I think it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous no that's definitely it I love you bye bye and this is the sad truth before you watch this video before you finish off your project like I did make sure to clean this bubble the this one I'm not sure you can see it on the camera but it's so dirty from my finger prints and just clean it before you glue it down because I'm ripping that apart now and I'm going to redo it basically because I just can't stand how dirty it is so yeah just a little tip for you and I'm cleaning off the inside part mm, sadly but I'll fix that and gluing everything back again wish me luck <laughs> but I closed it I did it I managed to uh, clean it off and put it back together. It looks slightly different, eh, the same but different. Don't do it. Don't do as I did. Don't rip it apart. It's really hard to fix it and redo it, especially with the hot glue because it really dries hard and it's plastic, so oh, it's difficult. So clean your bubble beforehand. So just a little hugely important tip actually. Happy crafting! <laughs> as my finished touch, I found this pearly something that it's actually so gorgeous that I'm thinking that I will add them here. Oh, like a little snow effect. I like that. You can cover some mistakes with it, I guess. Yeah. <laughs>